So they tried to put you in a dress? Uh, yeah. Wow. And it was kind of like, you know, you're going to bite this bullet and then you in. Well, you got the wrong Do you have your own internal checker about making decisions based off of the financial gain versus the philosophical aspect. You kind of mentioned that with the Kings of Comedy. So I just imagine if you ever had those conversations with yourself, you're like, that looks like a good check. However, yeah. I like money like anybody else, man. It is not my ultimate driving force. Mm. I've said on stage, I say it on stage now, and I, I mean it. Yeah, I've never had two, three hundred million dollars. Because if I ever get 50 million or 100 million, I quit. Wow, okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, I like to golf and fish, man. Yeah. I only need three, four hundred million dollars. I'm not, I mean, if it just happens all at once, okay. But I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to kill my, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I've made a, comfortable living mm -hmm. you never have enough money to just say you have enough but I pace myself and so far I've been all right yeah. I'm not gonna sell my soul and I'm not gonna kill myself trying to get a billion dollars yeah God bless the people that do that's where you choose to spend your life I'm, I'm not mad yeah, I seen an interview where you mentioned that same particular quote. If I can make a living without selling my soul, you mm -hmm. said in 2016 in an interview with the journalist Cat Harvey. That's pretty big in terms of the conversations about selling your soul in Hollywood. Um, have you kind of witnessed things that you or you've seen others tend to lose themselves in this game? I know some people now who would do anything mm. to be famous. I know some people that are in the game that are moderately famous that would do anything to take it up uh, another level. I know some people in Hollywood that are financially comfortable mm. that would do anything to take it up a notch. I mean, you know, that's your prerogative, <laughs> but you know. Yeah. It's just not my, uh, and I ain't mad. I've already been blessed just to know some of the people that I know. Yeah. It's a blessing to me and to be comfortable. I've never had a, since I started performing comedy, I've never had another job. I've had some businesses, but I've never had a, another job since I've been doing this. But just to know, I know Jamie Foxx. I know Monique. I know Steve Hahn. I know DL, so just to know him to me is, you know, flattering, but, yeah. but uh, am I going, am I going to stay up all night trying to catch somebody? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, and just kind of hearing you seem very content about. Yeah, know, I'm content. I mean, I'm not uh, complacent. Yeah. But I'm content and always have been. Even when I was popo, -po, I was content but not complacent. No. Yeah. Um, now you would do Friday. You know, we got Friday, next Friday, then Friday after next. Naturally, things kind of progressed, moved on. But was there a reason why we stopped seeing you in more movies? Did you kind of make a decision as to kind of step away from Hollywood? No. I was never offered a whole lot of men. I, I was on Grace Under Fire for a year. Okay. Uh, which was television, yeah. not movies. And, uh, uh, you know, I did some bit parts and other things with, uh, you know, I was on Steve Harvey, guess, you know, guest appearance, Steve Harvey mm -hmm. and Tracy Morgan show. Uh, but no uh, offers came in movie wise that I thought were would be good for me to do and yeah. that I could, uh, I hate to keep bringing it up, that I could tolerate in my soul. Now, I got off of some parts mm -hmm. that I said, I can't, I can't do that. Even though it's acting, I just, and, and then, 
it would start messing with your mind. Why would they offer me a part like that? So far away. What do you want me to be a woman for mm. when you got black women actresses who are funny in Hollywood, been out there trying to make it, and you want to give me a part like that? So they try to put you in a dress? Uh, yeah. Wow. And it was kind of like, you know, you're going to bite this bullet and then you're in. Well, you got the wrong nigga. Yeah, that's a big conversation with... I ain't mad anybody does it. I'm just telling you about you interviewing me, right? Yes, I am. So yeah, this a, um, it's just a big one. We kind of did a, a episode on that. Kind of just at a point where we think it's a little played out. Um, even yeah. for even for the laughter effect of it, it's it's redundant. Yeah. I ain't mad nobody did it. Yeah, but you know, so I turned down a, a few of those. I a don't know. few? That may have been. Well, maybe a, I say a few. Okay, three was, maybe. <laughs> that's still a lot. Yeah. For them to kind of try to put that on you. Yeah, and I, I, I think that may have been a sign to the establishment that DZ wasn't about it. So it may have cost me. Career-wise, I don't give a damn. Yeah. We had uh, Brandon T. Jackson. He yeah. did uh, the movie Mama, with Martin, yeah. the Big Mama joint. He expressed that he uh, felt that it actually cursed him his, in terms of life in doing that, that role. Um, what do you think this dynamic is? Why do you think they want to see a brother like yourself in a dress? Well, in my personal opinion, it's, it's, it's making you bow down. If you bow down, okay, all right. You want in? All right. Bow down. That's in my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, you can argue that, well, DZ, if you had done that, you would be this and that. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> That's kind of hard, like, because I see you as, like, a, a man's man. So if there's images of you in a dress, I could that could probably affect that persona or the you know, the, the presence that you have a little bit. Yeah, like, now, I ain't mad at even in real life, you know, but if that's what you want to do, you do <laughs> okay. you, man. Okay. But uh, I ain't, I ain't about it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not willing to compromise to that extent for, for no measly amount of money. Now, I'm saying measly a few million dollars. Yeah. And then some of those roles came out, they went on and did it without you? Uh, I can't name any in particular where I was off the party and somebody took it and put a dress on it and blew up or whatever. But yeah, yeah Project One, you know, One Monkey don't stop no project. I, I couldn't stop no project.